Hi! Welcome to the channel, my name is Jackal, let's talk about some more goings on in the world. I'll be down here in the corner with my mask and my hoodie and all that, uh, like normal, as we do for these like uh, commentary kind of videos. So, Unity have shut the bed. God, it's not even 30 seconds, I need to learn to not, not swear, otherwise I'm never going to get monetized. You know what I mean, China? Anyway, so... Uh, what what's going on? So they announced a change in their policies, uh, and it basically implements a runtime fee. So every time you install, um, Unity generates a little invoice and sends you off for like twenty pence or like uh, twenty cents or whatever. I think for the free uh, like lowest price plan, you've got to pay like twenty uh, twenty cents or twenty pence. I can't remember. It's basically point two zero of your currency from wherever you are. Uh, I'm in the UK, so I'm going to call everything pence. If you're in America or Anywhere else, just you know, sense or you know, whatever. Anyway, so <laughs> uh, they've backtracked on a lot of this, so we're just going to go through. So obviously, they had a little bit of a, a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a, a problem. And in, uh, fun fact, right? We're, we're actually gonna we're, we're gonna skip ahead. Uh, where is it? Oh, here we go. So, Dinodes on uh, Twitter, right? Uh, came out with this absolutely uh, with this absolute scorcher of a hot take, and we've got. I feel like the CEO of Unity is doing some manipulation to get money. He recently sold off a lot of his Unity shares before the announcement of the payment thing. Evidently, due to this, the stock value of Unity is dropping due to people promising to sue or rather just quitting using the game uh, game engine. So this will cause people to sell off all their shares. Quickly before the value drops even more, and then when the shares are at a low enough price, the CEO will then buy them all up and in, and remove the policy so their value goes up again. Evidently, this is considered insider trading, which is highly illegal. I think it's turbo illegal. I'm getting I'm pretty pissed off with this because Unity is the engine where I learn to do a bunch of stuff. Guess I'll have to continue using un, uh, learning Unreal Engine. Well, God speak to you, Dino. Right, love ya. Uh, <laughs> very good point. Let, 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 let's go through some of uh, the other takes on uh, Unity and. Uh, Oh yeah, it was this one. In fact, uh, well, we'll keep that one open because that, that was actually a really good take. So we're gonna go to the top here, right? So, uh, <laughs> I mean, some of the memes on this are absolutely cracking. I mean, there are some people who are just like Unity game. Uh, oh no, that's actually taking the piss. Um, <laughs> uh, Unity games uh, keep it going to the ground with the stocks until John Richardello Richardello realizes a revenue share program will be sensible instead of the runtime install fees. Uh, yeah, so John Richard Cielo, right, he was, um, at one point, I think he worked for EA, and he was he was the one, it was way back in the day, this is showing my age, right, and it was like, hey, yeah, guys, so what about, this is in, like, a, a shareholder meeting, uh, I think it was, like, with Xbox or something, about Battlefield, and it's like, okay, guys, what if, right, we charged people to, like, a dollar to reload, you know, we'd be absolutely flying, because they'd pay for it. He then left EA and then, you know, got a job at <laughs> Unity, which is absolutely, uh, you know, big red flags. Uh, Call Tom Hardy, because these are some big red flags, you know what I mean, right? Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, um, recap of it. Oh, my God, quick, quick here with the, uh, with the real stuff. I'll link this in the description, because uh, quick, uh, real quick, the... GX person. Oh, this is this is the information we fucking need. This is this is the information we fucking love. So the runtime is okay. So yeah, this is. Oh my god, this this makes my stomach turn. Twenty cents per install. Look at that absolute bollocks, right? And then for Unity Pro, it's fifteen, and then for Unity Enterprise, it's like one. Well, what is that? 12 or like 10 oh that i hate it when they decimalize shit so that's what 12 cents and then obviously it scales with you know thresholds and whatnot and it just this just basically sounds like they wanted to get a little bit of extra dough i think john richard tiello wanted to right this is wildly off topic right but then this is kind of in the same vein it's like when energy prices this year went through the fucking ceiling right everyone knew that in like eight months the energy companies are going to announce record profits it's like yeah because you're charging us like 300 percent more than what we were 
paying for last year. And you can't necessarily blame Russia or the war in Ukraine for fucking everything. But, I don't know. That's outside my wheelhouse. Anyway, let's take the piss out of John Richard Cialo over here, right? So... Uh, we're going back into Unity Engine on uh, like just looking up the uh, the topic on Twitter and we've got Unity Engine telling me to. Oh, all right then, the Unity game engine launched in two thousand and five, aiming to democratise game development by making it accessible to more developers. Well, funny how things work in cycles, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck it all. And you've got all these uh, indie studios as well. You've got uh, Daz Tracks. Don't know uh, what they release. I'm sorry, I'm not big on the indie scene. Um, you know, we've got King Apes. Not a clue. Uh, you know. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a what a topic to end off on. You see, because when when something goes wrong, you could always rely on the community that's being affected to really just take the piss. My name is Jackal. What do you think about this whole situation? I used to be a game dev. Personally, uh, I, I actually quite... I, I prefer Unreal Engine, but I don't like Epic Games, so it's kind of like a weird Catch-22. I don't know. This is all a bunch of bollocks, so I'm just going to go back to my actual job. I uh, thought I'd just make a quick one today. Uh, yeah, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, dislike if you disliked it. Uh, I'll, all that use. I'm not going to insult your intelligence by telling you what to do and what not to do. You know what to do. I'll, I'll still be here, right? Let's know what you think. Love to have a chat about this. Get, get some fantastic, fascinating conversations in in uh, my in my comment section. Like every every like week and a half. Who knows, right? Catch you later. Love ya.